We're in Alabama. We don't have fancy lawnmowers like you guys. Come in with a nice blend of H2O and Odo Bond. <laughs> Pretty much just splash the kilns. And you said that y'all use Odo Bond in the water now. Is there a going to be a benefit in using Autobahn over something like Fabuloso or Clorox. Oh, yeah. Same thing as bleach, 99.9. It's more pet food, so it's safer for animals, I'm assuming then? Okay. It should be an all-time You try sometimes. Now, what do y'all have over here? We went ahead and made uh, food bowls for this afternoon, so once they finish eating this morning, we go ahead and pull them up the bowls. Oh, awesome. Pretty much once I got all the water up. Real good. I pretty much just mop it out real good. We call those a day. It, it seems pretty quick when you just do one or two kennels, but I know that it takes y'all a pretty decent amount of time each time that y'all come. Oh, yeah. Just to let everyone sort of know how much time it actually takes to just. About two hours. Mm -hmm. Two That's hours. everybody getting a specific amount of time outside. Yeah. Guys, this is just one of the steps that it takes to keep this place running. Like I said, they've been here since God knows, probably 7.30, 7.45 this morning, and we're coming up on 10 o'clock, so this isn't an easy job. It's not a quick job, but it has to be done every day. And I know that we appreciate the hell out of these guys for doing it. I'm in the dog view cam. Yeah, Jeremy's taking the point of view cam right oh, now. So so. <laughs> Screw you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get this cleaned up. I need to get a load of sand over here. And we gotta cut the grass. Come on, dogs. 
You can't get in there right now. Wait till it's clean. Josh, don't get in the water, Bo. We'll come back to you. This is about to get drained. Oh, we got a pump, we got to hook up, drain it all out. Then we're going to pressure clean it, kill all the bacteria by using usually bleach. We spray bleach and then we pressure clean it again, drain it again, fill it back up, and it's ready for their use. But right now, we do not let our dog... Jaws! Get out of the water! We don't let the dogs in there right now. Too much possible wrong. Now this is Jamarcus, AKA Fat Boy, with LA Bully Cartel, Dan Ready Designs. You know, we out here, we need y'all to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. We got some giveaways coming on. We got shirts for sale, artwork, origins. You know, we concrete, we do concrete floors. It's pretty much nothing we can't do. We just need y'all to come on with us. You gotta like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Okay. <laughs> That's why you get paid the big bucks. Jeremy, you ain't gonna find no money down under there. I know it's green, but it don't just pop out like that. Yeah, I can't smoke it either. Yeah, I, I hate to break it to you. Always messing with some weed. It's probably why there's no episode 12, right? Yeah, I just said fucking well. Yeah. I, I, I like well. It, it comes after 11 before 13. It's, in, it's sequential. Yeah. Double gates, guys, just so we can redo this beach every spring, you know, after the winter. We'll show y'all some before and after videos so y'all can see the transformation, you know, that takes place every day. You can see Mr. Jeremy Bayless playing with all the dogs. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. See, guys, this is this is what we love doing. This is the stuff you see everybody out here has a smile on their face. We have Mr. Jamarcus Williams, aka Fat Boy. We have Mr. Uh, uh, Devin, right? Mr. Devin. He helps us with the sand out. Much appreciation to him because he, he brought this load of sand in for us today to redo the speech. The one and only Mr. Jeremy Bayless of Bayless Galleries and Del Rayleigh Designs. My business partner and friend. I got myself wet, baby. Mr. Evan, I'm with it, Craig. Always with it. Uh, of Dollhouse Kennels, part of L.A. Bully Cartel, our employee and here, and his uh, old lady, Brie O'Pree. Yep. Couldn't do it without them two Absolutely at all. Not. Like They're so, so thankful to have them. We do want to put some stuff on the back side of these fences, you know, to take away the wood, kind of like what's over here next to where the run starts. And y'all can see the run 
goes all the way back, guys. It goes all the way back to the other side where the tiki bar was. We put all the fence in, guys, for the runs. We laid the side, had the sand brought in, had the pool formed out. Uh, the pool is just deep enough, about human right below the waist. It's just deep enough where if the dogs want to swim, swim, they can, but if they couldn't swim or it was an emergency, they could, you know, basically bounce off the bottom and it's not too deep where they couldn't just bounce off the bottom until they got somewhere they can touch. And that's only one part right there in the middle of the pool that is deep enough to swim. We personally believe sand and swimming are two of the best exercises for an American bully, especially for that rear end. But let's continue the tour, sir. Letting them have their fun. First and last word of each sentence. Brad's a fucking idiot. No. I'll be peppy all day. Hey there, thanks for subscribing to our channel and we appreciate all the views, huh? Is that bad? Hey. Thank you very much for watching our episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out all the products that we have. Um, 